Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. It is the post-match interactive reaction show, whatever it is. After Liverpool were beaten 3-2 uh, by Toulouse in the Europa League, the fourth game week of this Europa League season. Um, it was a pretty poor, nay, very poor performance from Liverpool tonight. Um, bullied is kind of the word that I'm thinking of more than anything to sum that one up and you know so disappointing really obviously you make the changes we're all excited we want to get better after the Luton game see the lads put in a bit of a reaction to that Luton game and go out there and really showcase what we're about and you know we've been so excited this season I've been so excited this season because I've felt like the mentality of the squad and the team has got better and better as the season's gone on up until we hit the massive roadblock that was Luton Town away. Um, and you think, it's a bump in the road, we can kick on from here. And that confidence looks like it was made of glass almost at the moment because that's now two games back to back where I don't think we've really shown that never say die, never give up attitude and where the opposition team is either dragged us down to their level in Luton's case or been able to go about what they want to do and perform really well in Toulouse's case. I'm I'm not going to take anything away from Toulouse. They've been in a really poor form this season. You know, managers under a bit of pressure. They've been absolutely shite in Liga, And yet the crowd was in it. They were baying for blood. You could tell that it was coming through on the television coverage. And they went out there and they did their best game against us, their cup final, bringing Liverpool back and going and getting a famous victory for them. Um, but Liverpool weren't good enough and that started the first goal that we conceded and I gave him dog's abuse in the watch long, I really did. And I think deservedly so, to be honest, because Costas Timakas was so, so poor for their first goal, just dithering and dallying on the ball and the lad takes it off him, that's it, and it's 1-0, and you're like, what are we doing, man? Why are we conceding the first goals in games so, so often? And then, you know, it gets worse, we can see the second, and it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think, for that one, was just poor positioning, no danger sense, no uh, understanding of where the player is, and, you know, and at that point, you think, bloody hell, what the heck is going on here? And, you know, thankfully, we get a goal back through an own goal, Um Quite unexplainable own goal, to be honest with you, with a fella like diving at the, uh, jumping at the, the fans and it hits his shoulder, goes in and then, what, well, two minutes later it's 3-1 again? It's not good enough, lads. It's not good enough at all, Reds. Uh, it's so, so, so frustrating. Uh, but I'm here to do your comments, so I'm going to get into them now and, and, and stuff. And I'm going to start off with some of our Discord comments, if uh, if I may. Um so I found a really good one here from Johnny Fallon, uh, who said, Too many changes. Like the Luton game, though, we showed no passion or desire early on. Mac is not an eight and does much better work at deeper. Though Sobo, still not back to himself, gave up on tackles and runs far too easy. Darwin should have been on earlier. But all in all, he'll rock it up the arse for the weekend. And we really do. I mean, I said it a little bit towards the end of the game there. Uh, I think you're spot on, Johnny. But... Like we played like that against Brentford. Brentford bullied us last season. Brentford will happily bully us again this season. Uh, and how is David just sort of adding on to that and saying he's getting knocked around way too easy uh, at the moment. Um, I think he's referring to uh, McAllister in the eight at the moment. And I think uh, actually on the Discord and stuff, um, it's that da da David was saying that you know he sees him as a bit more of a, a deep lying playmaker and stuff. And you know I'm I'm. <sighs> I get that, you know, it looks like he needs a little bit more time on the ball and stuff at the moment. He's definitely not a DM, but he could be a deep lying playmaker, certainly. But it was a massive opportunity for him tonight, wasn't it? Because, you know, you see him in the eight, you'd expect to see a step up in quality. You know, we signed him to be one of those eights and it's through circumstance that he's found himself in this six. And, you know, he comes off the, uh, the back of a really poor performance against Luton, doesn't put in a good performance here tonight in his favourite position. Actually looked better when he dropped deeper. Looked like he had a little bit more understanding of what's going on in this team uh, from that position. And, you know, maybe I was too quick to think that, you know, just playing in an eight for Brighton last season and playing in an eight for Liverpool this season would be really easy for him. But he might just need a run of games in that position until we're able to see him. But he's an experienced professional now. Young player still, but experienced enough that you think he'd be able to switch from one to the other quite easily. 
He should know where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, because he's playing in the six. And, you know, we think back to when Jordan was at, at Liverpool saying, you know, you need to know everybody's roles. And maybe he's been working too hard on his and it was too, uh, that six role and maybe it was too much of a, an ask for him to, to play that eight after just a few days. But... Uh, regardless like and um, the big talking point of course is is Kwanzaa. um and you can see here Jay Clear saying Kwanzaa robbed of a goal um yeah I don't know to be honest I mean it felt like it was a bit far away from the goal like Chloe was talking during the comms and stuff and saying like isn't that second phase of play I'm never get second guess in VAR anymore you just can't you don't know what they're gonna do but it kind of has proved um that they're all shit, aren't they? The VARs, wherever they are, Europe, England, UK, they're all a bit crap. But, you know, it looked to me like it comes off his chest onto his hands. And, you know, if that had bounced off another player onto his hands from close distance like that, I'd say, what what can he do about it? But if he controls the ball properly, he doesn't need to use his arm. I, I'm actually probably going to go against the green here and say I think it was a handball. I just think it might have been too early on, you know, probably about 10... 10 passes maybe before the goal or 10 touches of the ball from players before the goal. So, yeah, I, I don't think it should have been um, ruled out personally. Um, we've, got, we've got a comment here in from, from David again saying literally every player is you messing and Diaz is up a sound. And we'll get on to that show, of course, later. A uh, lot to talk about Costas Timakas I mentioned who... You know, uh, you can see here, Kenny says we'll have Timacast will have nightmares, nightmares about this game. Um, and then he adds, and Gomez wasn't really any better, uh, which was fun, wasn't it? Um, we've got another one here saying nice change, uh, nine changes were way too much for this game. Could have lined a much stronger 11 up to start. We got the business done and let the kiddos play to the heart's content in the next two. Um, it's tough that you live and die by the sword, I suppose, here, don't you? In, in that, you know, lots of people wanting loads of changes and then you make loads of changes, the performance is disjointed, it's not good enough, and then everyone backtracks. I'm not saying you were, I'm just, that's the feeling that I get at the moment. Um, so, yeah, it, it's tough, like, you know what I mean? But it's really hard to take, to be honest. Um <laughs> Pram Viv and YouTube just saying what the fuck has happened to this team and I don't know but this week has been so 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 disappointing hasn't it um, Jacob saying love when we lose to both poor performance and VAR yeah kind of uh, kind of with you on that one I'm going to go over to Twitter anyway and have a little look at some of the tweets and, and things like that so uh, Osbeer Jenny saying didn't watch all the match but I'm Far from convinced about Timakas. I think Gomez is a better option. It wasn't today. Endo doesn't seem up to the task. Trent Troll needs to be either a central midfielder or a right back. I I'm okay with the... I'm not ready to throw the baby out with the bathwater on, on the Trent Alexander-Arnold thing. We were absolutely magic in that formation when we first started it. And it might be to do with the fact that teams weren't used to it. What I do have a problem with is I think we can use both formations to attack with. I think if they're blocking the middle off, which they were blocking the middle off tonight, just let Trent play as a right back and let Timakas play as a left back um, and let them go forwards and try and you know create those opportunities in attack that we used to get when we played the 4-3-3. Now, it's difficult, of course, to sort of switch between, but if Trent's on the right, then play like he's on the right. You know, we were doing that earlier on in the season. There were spells in games where we would just play 4-3-3 and we had success. And then if they start blocking it wide, then move inside and force them to react, make it a bit of a chess game between the two teams. In this way, the way we've been playing the last couple of games, it's been, we're going to play central. We're going to try and little one-touch passes through the middles, little balls around the corner and stuff. And we've kind of made it easy for them because they've just gone, right, well, we're going to just shove loads of bodies in the middle of the park and make it incredibly difficult for you guys to deal with. Uh, and that's what I felt we did tonight. And, and we just ran out of ideas, ultimately. Um, Scouse Times says we deserve to lose. Nothing to panic about. Just learned a lot about certain players. We go again Sunday. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Kyle Tasman, thoughts are to lose. Played like it was a Champions League final. Liverpool played like a team that's already through to the knockout stages. Hugely annoying. Um... But going nuclear over this one was a waste of time and energy. But it's so hard, isn't it? Because we're emotional after a game of football like that. I was disgusted and so was Barry here at the performance. Even more disgusted at the decision. Says it's a shambles. 
Um, Glenn says we're awful type of the farce of the end shows that the ref in Europe is just as bad as it is in the Premier League, yeah. Um, the big issue here that needs to be looked at is why and how we constantly play bad against bad teams. We have lost several away games against newly promoted teams. Now we lose this game. It can't be acceptable. And we do have a little bit of an issue with the away form at the moment, don't we? And, you know, that was a tough atmosphere. I'm not going to take that away from the French team tonight. It really was a very tough atmosphere. It looked like it was a tough atmosphere. I can't wait to talk to Paul about it, actually, and ask him about what the noise was like in the ground. Because I know what the two Toulouse fans were like when they came to Anfield. They were exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. And it looked like, you know, that 2,000, 3,000 away fans that they brought to Anfield, it looked like they had 40,000 of them fans singing, standing, shouting, dancing, everything, enjoying themselves, backing their team. It looked incredibly difficult. It really did. So, yeah. Um, Josh Hall, um, actually over in Discord again, says Harvey gave everything tonight. And he was one of those sort of shining lights, I suppose, for us. Um because he, he he really was good tonight. Was was old uh, was old Harvey. He tried to he tried to make things work when others had kind of checked out. To be honest with you, and, and I think you know there's a few players here that we can talk about. And you know I thought Joe Matip was poor tonight. I thought Costas Timakas was poor tonight. I thought Joe Gomez was poor tonight. Oh, God, oh, I can reel them off, but I'm going to do a ranking show in a bit. Um, Doctor. <laughs> Dr. Masturbator uh, says if there's a game to lose this is probably the game to lose and I see what you've done there um, James Lim asking who plays left back and DM against Brentford oh mate I'd love to just chat to you now about it but um, I don't know I mean Endo's got to play the DM I suppose uh, and the left back is likely to beat him Cash because he didn't play ninety minutes and play forty five and you want to put a rocket up his arse and, and see what he can do. Um Anthony says, isn't where the ball hits not classed as handball, it's exactly where the offside line is drawn from, so regardless of how back far back it was the build up, it should never have been a handball, okay. Um I don't know. I, again the shirt thing and all that. I I, I I can't keep up, to be honest with you. Um Face Alpha says, didn't deserve to win, robbed of a draw. Carlito's way, says the poorest, great film, the poorest performance for the entire season from everyone. But we had to lose a game. I would have picked this one. Um, which makes sense. Uh, VAR insanity aside, we were atrocious and off the back of the lacklustre performance versus Luton, first and foremost, needed three points against Brentford, but also a commanding performance. Um, Phil says we deserved to lose, but just to be safe, VAR made sure. A couple of players there need pulled in and asked if they actually want to play for this club. Absolute shambles. Scathing words there from Phil. Um, I'm not saying that he's wrong, by the way, at all. Um, we've not played well away from home all season. Let's not kid ourselves. I mean, it's a who's who of we're calling the players into question again. Um, I've just had a text from Ross saying he was a fan of the Mini Mohican. Thanks, mate. If you're watching this one as well, appreciate that. Um, Dal says, nah, looking back, it was a handball. Uh, I'm sorry, but McAllister, a World Cup winner, not be able to control a simple ball like that with no pressure is unacceptable for a pro. Having said that, the defeat was fully as, uh, deserved. I don't know what happened to my speech there. Uh, from back to front, says Gavin Dickerson, we got bullied. They wanted it more. It's horrible, that, isn't it? I can accept getting beat. I really can. But when I start to think that the Liverpool players aren't putting their all in, that's when it goes. me. That's when I get really angry because we do anything to be able to pull on that red shirt. And we give everything to pull on that red shirt. And that's when the mentality... And it was questioning it really, really gets me back up. Um, it really, 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 really does. Um, we need a response after Luton. Poor all round. Timakas, Endo, not good enough. Shrugged off the Luton result, but now I'm slightly concerned. Uh, it says Marcus. Thank you so much for that one, Marcus. I'm going to see if I can find that on YouTube as well. Um, we'll see what we go on there. Yeah, that was that one there, wasn't it, Marcus? Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I've had loads of chats from our members as well. Uh, the referee gave the goal, to be fair. Um, he did indeed. Um, so what are we going to do about that? Not sure exactly. Um, got loads and loads going on here. Van Dyke is ill, I think. Van Dyke was certainly ill, Dickie. Uh, I can tell you that for free. 
Um, Raul Poncioli says, it's complacency. Um, Red Hiker says, I really hope Mbueno sorry, isn't up against Tim McCass on Sunday. He's not good enough to play for Liverpool. Uh, Nizibuzi says, Tim McCass is poor. Diaz looks slow and dribbles are way off. Says, I thought Diaz tried his best. Uh, Josh Baker, Chris, the issue is City get everything. Chris has the same thing, but worse in the Champions League. VAR didn't check it. It's obvious it's rigged again. I'm not worried. We just have to keep going. Uh, we don't pass to Timmy, overlapping all the time. Politics, ooh, interested on the day we hear about Mane and Firmino and all that type of stuff going off. <sighs> Mark Humphrey. I think the players were believing their own hype. Minimum requirement is to outwork the other team. We haven't done that in the last two games. Must win against Brentford now. Come on, Redmen. We definitely need to fucking get better, don't we? Um, Joe says, if this performance doesn't stress the need for a quality DM, I don't know what does. And again, in the week whereby um, the Andre thing has been kind of poo-pooed by the... Uh, David Lynch, it's a major concern, isn't it? In that, you know, you want to be able to see the plan and see the idea and, and, and stuff like that. But, like, a, a DM ain't going to change no one giving a shit, is it? I don't think. Joe also says, uh, awful game, really not convinced by McAllister at all. He's too sloppy, too slow to warrant a start and position. Klopp appears to want to stick with him, though. I actually thought he was better in the six. Uh, I think Endo was taking some risky challenges. Um, you know, could have easily picked up a couple of yellow cards in that first half. And the first one, what a problem with as a DM. I want you to do that when the other team's on their counter attack and stuff. But yeah, um, really struggled there today, didn't we? Um, uh, Joseph Mulling says, I've heard Klopp saying in the pre-game press that we have experience in managing games like these. I was thinking, not this lot, but okay. <laughs> um, they didn't know how to manage the game tonight, did they? Uh, we will carry this form on into the brink again. Oh, don't blame anyone. It is game plan. The game is not important. Forget it. Oh, yeah. Um, Quinton's glad for Diaz, obviously, with his father being returned. Um, or released, I should say. A uh, team like Cohesion, subs bar Diogo, made no impact. That Diogo Jota goal was absolutely superb, wasn't it? Um, I'd look slow with defenders hanging off me. I'd be slow regardless, but that's by the by. Uh, it's just Dickie or anything talking about Alexis McAllister. There. Loco, oh no, this rig shit is so cringy, boys, accept the loss and move on. I agree with that 100%. I hate it when people tell me it's rigged. I think they're just shit across the board. I don't think it's rigged. Uh, I don't, I'm assuming you probably think the same, uh, to be honest with you. Um, Lloyd sent us another super chat. Thank you so much, Lloyd. You sent us uh, your first ever super chat on a live stream, 499. Thank you so much. Um, you haven't uh, left a comment, though, unfortunately. Uh, Dickie O'Reilly says, Mac are definitely better in the second half, but not good enough. Um, Klopp is screaming right now, to be honest, says me, 1399. Uh, Sun Beer says, I'm not surprised. This is how we've played all season. Our lowest level of play is far too low. Spent too much on attack. Nothing in defence. We deserve nothing, but we were cheated by the officials again. Onwards and upwards, says Tab. Um, yeah. Uh, Jay Pearson, my mate Jay, where is he? Where's that just gone then? Where's Jay gone? Get off my screen, you. Clear that off. Where's Jay's comment gone there? I'm sure it was in capital letters. Ah, there we go. Jay, friend of the show, friend of mine. Um, I can't cope, season is over. I won't be coming in to do the show in the morning. I can't face it. Jay taking the biscuit like he always does. Um, come on, though, Jay, it was shit, wasn't it? Uh, 90 LFC says, Chris, here's a question for you. Would you take Alonso as a new coach for next season? Absolutely not. In Klopp, I trust. In Klopp, we trust. Uh, James Lim says, we were beaten by the better side. Um, that's all I've got in me tonight for the uh, fan reaction show, I'm afraid. It just was not good enough by Liverpool Football Club at all. Uh, I'll be back with player rankings. Um, can't wait to fill up the you messing column row on it uh, join me in about five to ten minutes for the player rankings it's going to go off 
Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord, and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.